once again, you're back here with old Barry. Uh, I want to get right into it. I have a couple of short uh, videos from uh, old Marty, Marty Armstrong, and uh, I want to continue on from uh, the previous release on the videos about that basic explanation about what's going on here with all the fighting and the rioting all over the world. Well, I want to bring to your attention right now... Um, my God, if anything, a 10 second video, that's about it. But the question about the video is, is Antifa supplied bricks in advance for riots from Berkshire Hathaway's Acme Brick, which of course they bought out in, well, I believe in the late 90s. But have a quick look, it's all at 10 seconds and it doesn't have to be long to drive home a strong point. I got them out here. Yo, Trevor, look at these bricks. <laughs> Once again. I got them out here. Stage pre-waiting. Now even a bricks. man in uniform, armed, stacking them. Okay, folks, you've got to really start questioning things at that point. You're going to find the same one percenters, the same name, Soros, who's obviously been funding the Yellow Vest. I keep referring back to the Rockefeller family that was funding Women's Lib and yada, yada, yada. I've mentioned several times about just how things are just so... There's so many tentacles on this squid, it's impossible to follow them all. That's why I stress it's what really boils down to is what are you going to do to best protect yourself about it and the ones you love? That's what it comes down to. And I, from a lot of study, unfortunately know the answer and I just don't feel very positive of it coming. That doesn't mean I'm negative. I see plenty of opportunity in the future, but it's going to be a different world, not one that I'm looking forward to. But if you're flexible, like I say, you don't break. If you're the old mango tree, like down below my place here, uh, you'd still see it in the background right there, okay? That sucker produces over 8,000 mangoes a year, that one tree. But you get the right hurricane, because that kind of wood doesn't flex and it's brittle. That's why you see them snapped all over this country. I just don't want to end up that way. But when they're starting to point out uh, indisputable evidence, uh, look, I want to, it's not only in America, okay? If anyone uh, has ever heard, I'm sure a lot of people haven't, but and it's no big deal if you haven't traveled, but uh, Hague. Hague's out in the Netherlands, okay, and I just put it up on the map here. It's not a big place at all, but it's a coastal city, and um, I just wanted to take you into a, another little clip. What is happening in um, many parts of America, Europe, um, police are infiltrating the protests. But they're doing it in plain clothes, and they're actually starting the altercations. It's really interesting. Watch what's happening here over in Hague. What's getting look what's getting with the truck with the police vehicle right there plain clothes okay plain clothes instigators these are paid agitators okay you better start asking yourself what the hell is going on here or you're going to head down a very bad path and unfortunately it would not matter the least what your personal beliefs are or for that matter to a large degree your wealth status these are all situations most of us have never seen in our lifetime. We've depended upon electrical technology for our financing, for our wealth, for our own personal belongings, and uh, it is absolutely a huge mistake, but people will not listen to that. Like I keep using the click, click, it's gone. There's an actually an excellent little video about that in... Uh, 
I think it's in South Park when I used to watch it, when he got a hundred dollars from his grandma to open up a bank account and you hear the guy, oh, we'll put it to work in a money market and it's gone. <laughs> and he hasn't even signed the paper yet. Anyway, um, I don't want to get too carried away on this, but you better start asking questions. I'm going to follow through with another one is one of my favorite, uh, I guess you can say entertainers, but most successful investors in the world. And, and that's old Rogers, old Jim Rogers. I'm going to follow up with a neat little uh, five minute video on him to get you thinking in different directions also. So now I'm encouraging you. I think most of our subscribers are more than well aware if their mind is open about what's going on this giant hoax but like so many others we're not staying swimming in that pool anymore okay the water's gotten stale it needs treating there's just too much bacteria okay there's too many different stories it's time to move on and uh, understand a lot of this violence is being orchestrated, but that was also mentioned in the previous video, okay? So Barry, and we'll keep in touch, and we'll keep on bringing out a little bit of a different way of looking at things, and to say, we still feel out in the country. I guess there's an old saying is you can't take away what you never had, so the adjustment's been so mild out here. Uh, most of our friends, our, our natural local friends, hardly even notice the difference. And I, I'm so glad that we understood that so long ago. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. And um, till then, it's old Barry. Bye.